Summer has officially arrived here in upstate New York, and we couldn't be happier. To spend the long sunny days outside, soaking up the warmth and goodness all around. Summer for me is the season for making memories. Memories of frolicking barefoot in the grass on a warm evening to catch fireflies, or memories of days spent swimming in the cold lake, or picking flowers from the garden. Some of my favorite memories live in summertime. I guess that's why, to me, summer feels like the season of happiness and hope. Something we've been working to do more of is preserving some of the summer abundance for a winter time when nature takes its long rest. It feels so good to know that later on we will nourish ourselves with some of the delights of summer. So I like to think that one wintry day we will warm our bones with a hot mug of soup that brings us back to a summer afternoon of harvesting mushrooms in the woods. So one of our neighbors, um, they're a Mennonite family, they have offered to let us milk their goat twice a week um, and keep the milk just because they can't, um, they can't keep up with the milking and we really wanted to find a local uh, raw milk source so i'm so excited i'm so like i just feel so happy that we get to have certain connections like this in this community and um yeah it just feels really really good so um we're gonna bring you guys along on this morning's milking One of the sweet joys of living in the Finger Lakes is the summer swimming. We spend many of our summer days here on the lake. 
There's something so freeing about being in a massive body of water that makes me feel inextricably connected to everything. The water holds a sense of past. It tells a story of before we were ever here, and it will be here long after we're gone. But it's nothing. There's just something in my soul that ignites and comes alive when I get to swim in this lake. It is such a gift that makes summer that much more special.
So, now you know what we've been up to for the month of June. It's been a busy one, and it honestly flew by so much faster than I could have ever anticipated. But it was a full and memorable one, definitely. The tiny house is getting so much closer to being complete and to turning into our home, which feels really surreal. Thank you so much for following along on our journey here in the woods. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye-bye. Did everything that you thought you should Did it seem to do you any good